Okay, so uh, I'm here with uh, Celine from Compass Box, and uh, you have a nice assortment of products here at Whiskey Life in Spa. Uh, you're known, known about uh, for your blends especially, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we are actually blenders, that's what we do. So we're not a distillery, we're not independent bottlers, we do something in between. We select casks from distilleries all over Scotland, and we're going to create our very own range of blended whiskies. So we do, we work across all different categories of blended whiskies. So we don't just do blends as in blended scotch, grain and malt. We also have a wide range of blended malt whiskies. So blending different single malts together from different distilleries. And we also do something which is quite unusual, which is a blended grain scotch whisky, which is something that is really uh, important to us in the sense that we started the business with that product. It's a whisky called Hedonism which is effectively a blend of different single grains from different distilleries. So that's what we've always tried to do. Uh, we've only been around for 15 years, just, just a little over 15 years, because we started back in October 2000, and trying to uh, kind of show people that blended whiskies can be beautiful, you get more complexity through blending, and you can create flavors and styles that you wouldn't be able to find within each individual distillery. So we've got quite a wide range, as you can see from that. I know that uh, the Flaming Heart yes. and uh, this is not a luxury yeah. whiskey. Those are two new products. They are well, the recently. two newest products, yeah. yeah. Uh, two limited releases from the back of last year. Uh, we tend to work on a, a range of seven, usually, that we keep on producing all year range. And then every year, when we're lucky enough to find some good quality cast and create some really exciting recipes, we come up with limited editions. And those two are actually the ones that we released uh, at the end of last year. Flaming Heart is something that we brought back to life. It's actually the fifth edition of our Flaming Heart. Every time we tweak the recipe, so it's never quite the same Flaming Heart. But the idea behind our Flaming Heart is actually to create something with the elements of our spice tree, so really, really rich, spicy whiskies with some heavily peated malts. So we got, in that particular one, quite a lot of Kalila single malt. Give you that lovely smokiness and peatiness from the Kalila. And we've combined it with some uh, single malts aged in our special new French oak casks, which are gonna have a lot of beautiful spicy flavors. So it's spiciness, fruitiness, with the beautiful peatiness from the Kalila. So that's something that people have loved over the years, and that's why we keep on bringing it back, because it's a style yep. that you can't find anywhere else. It's very unique to Compass Box. And uh, this is not a luxury whisky. This, of course, is a yeah. play on Cecine yes. Point Peep. Indeed, yeah. We love Magritte, we love the Belgians. So we thought it was quite an interesting concept. We wanted to actually do a whisky focus on the quality of the whisky in the bottle. And the packaging is fairly simple in a way. You know, when you compare it to what we do normally, we kept it quite simple because what was important to us is to actually show what's really, really unique and what's important is actually the liquid in there. The whisky? Yeah. Exactly. So uh, there's been a lot of debate over the years. What is luxury? It's like what's luxury to me is not necessarily luxury to you. Oh. So we thought it was quite a nice concept. So we selected some beautiful casks. This is quite heavily sherried, which is fairly unusual if you know the Compass Box range. And we've added some beautiful, really old grain whiskies to add some beautiful complexity, creaminess to the blend, and a little bit of smoke just, to, again, to give that little extra to make it interesting. So it's a blended scotch, but it's a blended scotch. But still, I've, I've noticed uh, in tasting your products that you can easily put them next to some single malt whiskies absolutely and they will taste at least as good yeah. as the single malt whiskies and this is what we're trying to do is just trying to show people that yeah just because it's called a blended whiskey doesn't make it a lower quality product not definitely not actually there's an art to blending and you can create more complexity through blending it's we care so much about the quality of our single cast the way we use them in creating different recipes you know it's like the word blended is a little bit like badly portrayed by most people, to be honest. So what we're trying to do at Compass Box is just to show that it's just a word, it's just a category of product. Depends how you do it, you know, how you create your whiskies. Well, what I would say is, if if you don't want a blended whiskey, you have to buy a single cask whiskey. Indeed, yeah. All the rest And that's is... what most people don't realize. Exactly. Like, I only drink single malt, I don't drink blended. Well, actually... The single malt yes. is a blend of single it malt is, most indeed, of the time. Yeah. So, well, Thanks a lot for the little interview, Thank and uh, I hope to see you again at uh, the next show, maybe you next will. year in Paris. Absolutely. But thanks a lot. Thank Bye. You. Bye.